I think I've I've just basically been born to do circus from the beginning. My, I remember my mom telling me stories of being six months old and I used to climb out of the crib and then I'd climb over the thing that they put in front of the stairs so that you don't go down the stairs and I would climb down the stairs. Um, and then basically as time went on, trying different things and then you sort of find out which thing you're passionate about and as soon as you find your passion then you, you go and you don't stop. There's no breaks, and your body isn't your own. You can't say, I'll just stay up this extra hour. You have to get your eight, nine hours a day. You, uh, you also have to eat regularly. You can't neglect your body. This is the thing that makes you money. Let's say you, you drive for a living. You're just gonna let your car go into disrepair? Because you're always, you're always training for shows, right? And if you have a show and you're tired, the show must go on. I have done shows where I've gone, vomited my guts out, got up, put my costume on, went onto stage, laugh, and then went back, back out to vomit. The very first show that I performed bungee trapeze, in the dress rehearsal, there was a miscommunication with the person that was lifting the trapeze out of the way and I did a double front into the bar. I had a cylinder shaped bump out of my forehead. And so I, I was still like, I didn't ha I went to emergency, I didn't have a concussion, so it was okay. I just had to deal with a headache and a big bump on it. And so I just had to make sure that my makeup covered my whole entire forehead for the show. It's not like a job where you go, I've been here for eight hours and I could go home and do what I really want to do. You're actually always doing what you really want.